Let's go across to the guest joining us. Guru Prakash Paswan is from the BJP. Tehsin Punawala is political analyst, leans towards the Congress party. Also, Professor Chandan Gowda is Professor, Institute of Social and Economic Change. Desh Ratham Nigam is, political, uh, is lawyer and political analyst, leans towards the RSS. I should announce that Congress and DMK have refused to be officially part of this discussion. Again, I wonder why. Tehsin, why is it that the Congress is shying away from condemning Udinadi Stalin's comments? Why is it that the Congress is speaking in two voices? In fact, appallingly, some of their leaders are actually backing what Stalin has said. Vani, at the onset, thank you, and I'm grateful for having you on the show. And I'm appalled at the statements Mr. Stalin is making. For one, let's for a minute leave the moralistic argument aside. Just for a second, let's leave the moralistic aside, argument aside. It's terrible. You cannot call people mosquitoes or a way of life, malaria or dengue or corona. It's terrible. And if the, for, if the thing was reversed, let's assume Guru Paswan, who's a very dear friend of mine, but represents the BJP, said the same about an Islamic way of life. What would we say? It's wrong. Hmm. How can this be accepted? So it's terrible that this has been said. But, but let's look at it. But let's look at this politically apart from this. Mr. Stalin, whose only claim to fame is being the chief minister's son, hmm. who is the grandson of Karunani and the grandson of Karunanidi, is talking about privilege. Can you can you imagine politically what suicide is this? And look, is it I'm though? a Congress. The problem is, though is Tessin that is exactly suicide. this politics of the DMK has been rewarded in Tamil Nadu. I don't want to get into that. But fundamentally, politically, why is parties like the Congress party unwilling to take them on? Why are they in alliance with a party which is so rabidly anti-Hindu? Does that I'm question stunned. not go to the Congress party? I'm, it does and I'm stunned. Because hmm. I support the Congress. I go out of my way to defend the Congress. And Rahul Gandhi ji, who is my idol, told me that, told us that he's he's a Janyudhari. Yeah. So is Rahul Gandhi ji privileged? Second, Rahul Gandhi ji said that I am in the bazaar of Mohabbat ki dukaan khulne mein hai, khulne yes. ho, Which is great. Then Mohabbat ki dukaan has to open with conversation. Every way of life does must evolve, must require reforms, dialogues. But that should happen through a political process or through a legal process or through consultation. You can't call people mosquitoes, dengue, COVID. I'm again saying, Shivani, let's say if this was for Christians or Sikhs, what would we say? We would say this is bigotry. It's not right. Supreme Court has called this as hate speech. In my case, how is it accepted if you call people from the Sanatan Dharm? Does the Congress not have people from the Sanatan Dharm? So Dhan that brings me to the this question that I'm asking today, Taisin. You are a supporter of the Congress Party, what it stands for. The Congress Party claims to be the biggest votary of secularism in India. They believe secularism in India exists because of the Congress Party and not because of parties like BJP. Explain to me, how is this secularism? This isn't. That's what I'm saying. Then why if is our Indian politician so weak? And if what's all they care for? They cannot stand up for Sanatan Dharm in a country who, in like India, Bharat? Forget in a country like India. Tell me, Shivani, and you're a very reasonable person. I also know you on a personal level. Which minority will be happy by you calling Sanatan Dharm people for calling Sanatan Dharm mosquitoes of malaria? They don't get happy with this. So this isn't even appeasement. I mean, people who are minorities from any caste or religion don't get happy when you do this. They are not excited that you're doing this. For example, Mr. Paswan comes from a minority background. I know him personally. He's from a pa Paswan background. Will he get happy? No. This is not something to be happy about. What are you saying? Yet it works it for is the moralistic. DMK. No, no, forget Maybe. the moral argument. Yet for DMK, it works in Tamil Nadu. Uh, it's a fascinating story and study, which is a very devout state, mind you. Tamil Nadu is a yeah. devout Hindu state. Why it works there is a fascinating story. But I want to go across to Professor Chandan also. How is this acceptable when all of these politicians claim to fight for secularism and they claim that they are secularism? I use that word deliberately because obviously claiming to be secularism doesn't mean you actually uphold its tenets. But this is as rabid anti-Hindu commentary and speech as is possible. Don't you think that this is exactly what invites you know, statements from the other side as well. It's a very complex matter. Uh, See, just to get, to get the record straight, the AIDMK, with which the BJP is close to, is also an inheritor of the same stance on how Hinduism has to be seen. So you have to put both parties on the dock if you're interested in pushing it in that angle. Please remember that Sir Periyar built a movement which mm. later split into DMK and the AIDMK, right? And they both are inherited of the same legacy, reflected in popular cinema, popular mm. songs for over a century. 
few years from now it will be 100 years of the self respect movement mm. either as it may i don't think you know you and i you know might have a right to feel you know angry or you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, or offended even at what he has described it mm. but unless we have the maturity to understand Which that he not- has the right He has the right to be angry in his own terms because is it right? No, no, I get that. Listen, I have no problem in. in, com- in, in I have no problem in calling out casteism. I will join that cause. How is eradicating is, a religion a just cause? He is. I think the mosquito corona comparison is nothing compared to what others have compared it to in the last hundred years. So They're, what? That doesn't mean I can't criticize it today. What's on the street is tapal. No, no, but course, Chandan ji, you're not understanding. What, what people saying, have gotten away with in the it, past is hardly my concern right today. To... I am still going to criticize Udinadi Stalin, not by the standards that the DMK has set Ivani, for itself, Ivani, but by the standards that Indian politicians Ivani, want for everyone. Shivani, if yeah. you are in the receiving end of Hinduism, you have a right to be critical in your own way. Absolutely, you do. Civil. We, we can't dictate the terms of criticism. You know. No, no. This is not criticism, Mr. Gowda. You are getting into that very delicate line of what is criticism and what is hate speech, and I think no, this, this qualifies hate as hate speech, not so much it as criticism. Important. We've had ample criticism of Hinduism in this country. It, it, it is, it We've is had unending criticism of, of Hinduism in this country, and Hindus Mami, are the you. most accepting of all criticism. And I accept the ills of Hinduism, but I, for one, am not going to Mami. carry the guilt. that only hinduism Shwami. has ills i'm sorry to say politicians no, no, no. like udyanidhi stalin will never open their mouth about ills in any other religion i am calling out their hypocrisy no, they're speaking as insiders to a religion they're not insiders they're what insider yeah. is udyanidhi stalin what is his upbringing no. what is his privilege no 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 see please remember they are criticizing a religion not the religious followers there's a distinction no In the statement that Mr. Stalin has made, this is why I called it. Ref- no, I'm sorry. This is why I called it refreshing at the start of my show because the statement that Mr. Stalin yeah. has made is not criticism, and it is not hiding behind this ruse that we are fighting the ills of Hinduism. He has said it as openly as possible. We need to eradicate Sanatan Dharma itself. Sanatan Dharma stands for a lot of things, and this country wouldn't be as secular and open if it wasn't for Sanatan Dharma. He better accept that as well. Yes, but then, I have the rights to read it that way. No. No, no, We it's not a reading. It it's way, fact, Mr. Gowda. Mr. Gowda, my aim is not to fight yeah. with you, but it is not oh, a no, reading. No, 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 it's no, no, a fact. History is bearing fact to this. We cannot erase that history either, and we cannot condemn a religion only by some ills. And I, like I said, I dare them to open their mouth about ills about any other religion in this fashion. But Mr. Uh, Guru Prakash, no, no. Okay, finish. What is it that you want to say? No, no, Shivani. I was only saying we have the rights to read Hinduism in the way we are doing, and if you are at the receiving end, they have the rights to read it the way they do. We can't. I have no problems with that, Mr. Gowda. But calling for eradication of a religion is not reading of a religion. Calling people who follow a certain philosophy yes. as mosquitoes is not reading of that religion. Please understand. That's the limited point I'm making. I'm all for criticism, and there is only criticism of Hinduism in this country. But we'll accept that. Tessin, you wanted to come in very quickly. Then just, Guru Prakash. Just, just very one point. In our country, the the religion that's seen most reforms has been Hinduism. You can't take away from that. For example, and I'll end here. Bhagwan Ram or Bhagwan Krishna were not born as Brahmins. They were born as uh, Shatriya or as or as uh, a Yadav. And in fact, Bhagwan Ram killed a Brahmin Ravan. But we still worship them. So let's not say that this is the most reforms that happen in the Hindu way of life. That and does yet not it gets away. attacked the most. You know, and, the appalling and, thing but is that it keeps of getting people attacked people. in the most basest of manners. This is not criticism. I'm sorry to say. It's dehumaning. You can't call it's people. It's dehumanizing of Hindus who follow Sanatan Dharma, and dehumanization is categorized as hate speech.